hello god bless you everyone you're welcome to today's edition of wisdom streams my name is pastor francis Ude. today we're going to be looking at a wonderful topic which is you are possible i'll encourage you to bring all your friends your family members draw them closer to your radio station because i know that this broadcast is going to be a blessing to you so one more time my topic today is you are possible and i'm going to take be taking my anchor scripture from the book of mark chapter 9 verse 23 then jesus said if you believe all things are possible to him that believes all things are possible to him who believes so i love to start this discussion by saying do you believe do you believe what if I told you that those dreams you have are possible? What if I told you that those dreams, those visions that you have, that it is possible for you to actualize them? If nothing was limiting you, what would you love to become? If there was nothing that would be a limitation to you, if you look all around and let's say everything is possible for you, if you're, if you're not limited if there is nothing restraining you or holding you back and everything is possible that is you a super human you a superman you a superwoman if, if everything was possible what would you love to become it is possible to be that person that you want to be it is possible to be you to be what god has planned you to be it is possible to actualize that dream to actualize that vision to be that person that you dream about that you see in the mirror yes it is possible it is possible to be that man that woman that you see in your dreams the bible made it clear if you believe all things are possible to you for you if you believe so the question is do you believe when you ask people of their dreams and their goals when you ask people what do you want to be in life what do you want people have a lot of things that they say but most times it's funny to even find out that people do not even believe those things i would love to be this i would love to be uh, this successful i would love to be this these are my dreams and my vision and most times people think that those vision those dreams that they are unattainable so and most times i see our environment as a major factor in in this because your goals and your visions are most times manipulated first by your surrounding it is even your surrounding that adjusts your belief uh, most times when you look into your childhood and review events that impacted you that cost you pain that cost you joy you'll find out that in these moments are decisions uh, it is in these moments that you decided your future so if you want something badly enough there is nothing in that will be able to stand in your way for example there are certain abilities that you have in you that you do not even know you have them until until certain things happen for example if if a lion steps into the building and starts pursuing you you will find out that you'll be able to scale a fence that before that time if you if they told you to scale it to jump in you you would think that it's high but so suddenly you find out because you, you your the, the the flight hormone is engaged and you see yourself jumping springing like as if you are you are, you are an olympic um athlete why that ability is in you but there are certain things that need to push you for them to come to um to realization so and that is the same way the moment you start believing in yourself the moment you start believing in the abilities that god has put in you you'll find out that everything is possible everything is possible to him that believes i tell you you do not know how much that god has embedded that how much that god has put in you but because of our environment uh, maybe because of the way you grew up it adjusted your beliefs your the the your the, the dreams and the visions you have you most times when you look at why when, when we are still young growing up you see that you believe things you believe you're 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 not limited in your thinking you tell your parents i'm going to buy 50 houses for you i'm going to buy 300 cars you believe them you believe them but certain things that people now call realities which is actually um your environment and certain things that you witnessed 
they start adjusting your belief system they start adjusting the the your ability to believe the 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 that everything is possible which is a god nature that is that is in you so i tell people that first you need to want this badly you need to want this your dream this vision you want to be um a, a, an artist that is renowned you want to be someone that is known all over the world you want to be a global you want to build a global business you want to build something that people will celebrate all over the world you first need to believe it you first need to see it and you need to bring about bring down every personal fear that is in you because i tell people that limitations are just your personal fears the things you fear and then suddenly when they happen you say yeah i know you see i said it it is those limitations are your fears so be whatever you want be playful be outrageous be spontaneous be unstoppable you can be that in life there is no dress rehearsal we come to this life once and so why would you not try dare to be the best be courageous why not be bold enough to dare to try it i always tell people there are certain people that are dropped out of school and uh, it is because they gave up some other people they still have set the same circumstance around you but they kept moving kept moving most times you don't know the door is open it, it, a door might be might be might be closed but not locked all you need to do is just to push it a little and it will open but you will not find out until you get there and try to turn the knob to find out that it is actually open and not locked so those dreams are possible if you try it if you dare it, to go an extra mile just one extra mile i want to be a doctor i want to be a lawyer as a young person growing up it is possible yeah pastor but you pastor i'm coming from a, a poor background yeah you're coming from a poor background except you are you can prove that there is nobody that has been in your background that 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 achieved that dream there are people that have been in worse background than you and they have even achieved even better and higher more louder uh, uh, dreams so with that thing that you want to be it's possible that thing you want to be it's possible there are certain people that are that are even very successful globally that came from the same neighborhood where you came from some of them came even from worse neighborhood and worse circumstances oh, pastor you don't understand if only you know my background my parents they are the divorces this happened i was motherless i was fatherless whatever circumstance you find yourself presently in people were in worse situations and they turned out to be better why because they believed it they never gave up so the moment you give up it's all over but if you don't give up then there is a possibility of you becoming that which you want to be so successful people in life they are people that dare they don't do popular things they don't do things they don't do conventional things they don't just follow everything that everybody says so there is an inner voice in you which must be louder than the outer voice because when you take these decisions life will come to punch you life will come to try it life will come to tell you that you are doing something that is stupid how is it that you don't have money and you think you can do this how is it that you don't have money you think you can uh, build a global business so they will try to attack it life will try to attack it with hunger with trials but if your inner voice is louder than the outer voice which the outer voice can be your friends that will tell you no this is not possible the outer voice might be things that seem as though they are real you know reality you know but you need to make that inner voice that conviction within you that is saying i can do it despite all the odds so if you are hearing me wherever you are i'd like you to say it i can do it can you say it? I can do it. Say it, it is possible. Say it if you can close your eyes and say it to yourself so that you hear it. I can do it. It is possible. I can get that dream. I can get that dream. That dream can be a reality. If it if 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 God if God didn't want me to get it, he wouldn't have given it to me as a dream. If God didn't want me to get it, he wouldn't have given it to me as a vision. If I have seen it, anything that is conceivable, it is achievable. If I have seen it in my mind, then I can achieve it. So when you have done this, you back it up with definite actions and are, that align with your definite purpose. Get ready to take risky moves. Yeah. Everybody's opinion of you is not what you need. Is that everybody that you should listen to? There are certain friends around you that their job is to talk you down. You don't need to listen to them. All you need to do is back up this your belief with definite action that align with the definite purpose around you. 
So what God blesses is actions. He doesn't bless dreams. There are many daydreamers. They dream and dream. Oh, I saw myself. I dream one day I'll be this. They are just lazy and idle. What God blesses is the action, not the dream. So it's very important you must know it. Take daily actions. You must take daily actions. There is no massive result without massive action. You must take action. Go and learn that skill. Go and do that extra course. Whatever. Go and, le and learn from. Go to that conference. Start writing that book. Do take daily actions. Because obviously, doubts will creep in. If you don't back it up with immediate action, doubts will creep in. And the more you wait, the more the, the bigger the doubt gets. And now doubt kills dreams. There is nothing that kills dreams like doubt. It's going to kill it. So the seed of doubt is killed with action. So the moment you take action, there are a lot of people that plan. You plan too much. You dream too much. But you take zero action. I want to do that course. Start now. Go for that training record that music write that book take that action now when you have done this put your trust in god don't put it in people because people will talk you down they were not there when god gave you the dream and the vision so they will talk you down they will tell you are you sure you're going to do this place that you are a valuable person place that value on yourself because if you don't know your value you will accept other people's opinion about you they will tell you you can't do it if you don't know your value but when you know your value people's opinion about you don't care they don't matter i always tell people i'm not contesting for election so i'm not bothered about your opinion about me i'm not competing with anybody i'm on a journey in life and and i'm my convictions are enough so it is very important don't accept other people's opinion because in life, whatever you tolerate is what you get. If you tolerate the fact that people tell you you a failure and you keep listening to it, because when your ear gates are open and you keep listening to the wrong things, definitely you see yourself manifesting those things. So get this in your mind. Because as a man thinks, so is the man. So your mind can be the clutch, you know, when you the accelerator, or it can also be the brake the brake rather so it is either the clutch it either is a clutch or is a brake in your life so it's very important that your mind is sound your inner inner, inner voice is sound your convictions they are sound you are bold about it you are not checking out you're not listening to whatever anybody has to say the moment you get this right the bible said it clearly and jesus said if you believe all things are possible in the name of jesus i therefore pray for you that dream and that vision that god has put in your heart if you release your faith right now i decree that you will realize it it is possible it will not be aborted in the name of jesus i release the grace and the energy the tenacity that will push you to take daily actions towards the actualization of the dream and the vision that God has given to you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your goals will not be manipulated by your surroundings. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your surrounding will not abort your, your, your vision. Your surrounding will not abort your, your dreams. Your friends will not abort your dreams. In the name of Jesus, nothing will limit you in this season. In the name of Jesus, go now and take and take hold of those visions. Go now and take hold of those dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. See you some other time. God bless you.